as we know that a self adjoint operator is a bounded linear operator on a hilbert space which coincides with its hilbert adjoint operator today we will discuss some properties of self adjoint operators now the first theorem is let h be a hilbert space and t belongs to p of h that is t is a bounded linear operator on h then first result is if t is self adjoint then in a product of t x and x is real for every x in h and second result is if h is a complex hilbert space and in a product of t x and x is real for every x in h then t is self adjoint let us prove the first result let t be self adjoint self adjoint means its uh, t is equal to its hilbert adjoint operator that is t star and then for each x in h by definition of um, inner product we know that complex conjugate of inner product of t x and x is equal to inner product of x and t x and um, by definition of hilbert adjoint operator we know that this is equal to inner product of t star x and x here t star is hilbert adjoint operator of t and this is equal to inner product of t x and x because t star is equal to t hence we have shown that complex conjugate of inner product of t x and x is equal to inner product of t x and x that means in a product of t x x is real for each x in h let us prove the second result it is given that h is a complex hilbert space and in a product of t x and x is real for each x in h then we have to prove that t is self adjoint that is t is equal to t star that is t coincides with its hilbert adjoint operator and since in a product of t x and x is real so it coincides with its complex conjugate that is in a product of t x and x is equal to complex conjugate of in a product of t x x for each x in h and by definition of Uh, Hil hilbert adjoint operator of t this is equal to complex conjugate of inner product of x t star x for every x in h and by definition of inner product this is equal to inner product of t star x x for each x in h that means inner product of t x and x minus in a product of t star x and x is equal to 0 for every x in h and this implies that in a product of t minus t star of x and x is equal to 0 for every x in h by definition of uh, in a product and we have proved that if h is a complex hilbert space and in a product of Uh, q or qx and x is equal to 0 for every x in h then q is equal to 0 we have proved this result in the last lecture and so here this operator t minus t star is equal to 0 and this implies that t is equal to t star hence t is self adjoint the second theorem states that let h be a hilbert space then result a is if s and t are self adjoint operators on h then s plus t is also a self adjoint operator on h result b is if alpha is the real number and t is a self adjoint operator on h then this implies that alpha t is also a self adjoint operator on h if tn is a sequence of self adjoint operators on h such that tn converges to t as an tending to infinity in norm topology of b of h then t is also a self adjoint operator on h that is 
any sequence of self adjoint operators on h converges to a self adjoint operator on h let us prove this theorem now we have to prove first result that is a uh, we have to show that s plus t is a self adjoint operator where s and t are self adjoint operator so we find hilbert adjoint operator of s plus t in, in s plus t whole star that is hilbert adjoint operator of s plus t is equal to uh, we know that this is equal to s star plus t star that is hilbert adjoint operator of s plus hilbert adjoint operator of t and since t and s are self adjoint operators so t star is equal to t and s star is equal to s so this is equal to s plus t we have shown that hilbert adjoint operator of s plus t is equal to s plus t and so s plus t is a self adjoint operator on h now we have to prove result b and we have to show that alpha t is a self adjoint operator so we find its hilbert adjoint operator uh, so we find alpha t whole star this is equal to we have proved this result that is complex conjugate of alpha into t star but as it is given that alpha is a real number so we have alpha uh, complex conjugate of alpha is nothing but alpha so we have alpha t star and since t is a self adjoint operator so t star is equal to t so we have um, alpha t whole star is equal to alpha t this implies that alpha t is a self adjoint operator on h let us prove result c it is given that tn is a sequence of uh, self adjoint operators and if sequence tn converges to t then we have to show that t is a self adjoint operator on h before proving this result we observe that norm of tn star minus t star is equal to norm of tn minus t whole star because tn minus t whole star is equal to tn star minus t star so these two expressions are equal and since uh, we know that norm of t star is equal to norm of t we have proved this result earlier so uh, we have this is equal to norm of tn minus t mark it as 1 we have to prove that t is a self adjoint operator that is we have to prove that t is equal to t star so we find norm of t minus t star and uh, this is equal to norm of t minus tn plus tn that is adding and subtracting tn minus tn star plus tn star that is adding and subtracting tn star minus t star by triangle inequality this is less than or equal to norm of t minus tn plus norm of tn minus tn star plus norm of tn star minus t star if we use one then the third term will become norm of tn minus t and uh, norm of t minus tn is equal to norm of tn minus t and um, the second term uh, will become norm of tn minus tn because tn is Uh, a self adjoint operator for each n so tn star is equal to tn so second term will be equal to norm of tn minus t t that is zero and so this whole expression is equal to two times norm of tn minus t and since tn converges to t as n tending to infinity so this will tend to zero as n tending to infinity and since we know that norm of t minus t star is always greater than or equal to 0 so this will become 0 that means t is equal to t star hence t is a self adjoint operator if h is a real hilbert space then we know that if uh, s and m t are two self adjoint operators then by a we know that Uh, s plus h is also a self adjoint operator from um, result b we know that if alpha is a real number then 
and T is a self-adjoint operator, then alpha T is also a self-adjoint operator. That means we can say that S of H is a subspace of B of H. And from third result, we know that S of H contains its limit points. And so S of H is a closed subspace of B of H. As we know that B of H is a Banach space, and since S of H is a closed subspace of B of H, so B of H is, uh, S of H is a real Banach space. Let us prove third theorem, which states that let H be a complex Hilbert space, then every bounded linear operator T on H can be uniquely expressed as T is equal to A plus IB, where A and B are self-adjoint operators on H. Let us prove this theorem. Since T is a bounded linear operator on H, so T star X is. Let A is equal to 1 by 2 T plus T star and B is equal to 1 by 2i A T minus T star. We are taking A and B like this and if we add um, 1 and 2 and then we find that T is equal to A plus IB. We, uh, actually we want to show that T is equal to A plus IB where A and B are self-adjoint operators. So we have to show that A and B are self-adjoint operators. So we find A star is equal to half T plus T star whole star. And since half, half is a real number, so uh, this is equal to half t plus t star whole star. And this is equal to half t star plus t double star is equal to half t star plus t because t double star is equal to t. So, uh, we find that this is equal to a. That is a is equal to a star means A is a self-adjoint operator on H. Now, we want to show that B is a self-adjoint operator. So, we find it's Hilbert adjoint operator. So, B star is equal to 1 by 2i t minus t star whole star. And we know that if alpha, um, alpha is any complex number and t is the bounded linear operator then alpha t whole star is equal to complex conjugate of alpha into t star. So, here we um, find uh, complex conjugate of 1 by 2i that will be equal to minus 2i that is minus 1 by 2i t minus t star whole star. This is equal to minus 1 by 2i t star minus t star and is of a star that is t double star and this is equal to 1 by minus 1 by 2i t star minus t says t double star is equal to t and this can be written as 1 by 2i t minus t star and that is nothing but b so we have shown that b star is equal to b that means b is a self-adjoint operator hence a and b are self-adjoint operators on H. It remains to show that this expression is unique. That is here A and B are unique. If possible, let T is equal to C plus ID such that C star is equal to C and T star is equal to T. Then T star is equal to C plus ID whole star that is equal to C star plus ID whole star that is C star minus ID star because complex conjugate of I is minus and this is equal to C minus ID as C star is equal to C and D star is equal to T. And so T plus T star is equal to C plus ID plus C minus ID that is equal to 2C. And that means C is equal to half T plus T star. And this is nothing but A. So, we have shown that C is equal to A. 
Now, if you find t minus t star, then uh, we find that this is equal to 2 times i t. This implies that d is equal to 1 by 2 i t minus t star that is equal to t. So, we have shown that a and b are unique in this expression. Now, the next theorem states that let h be a Hilbert space and t and s are self-adjoint operators on h. Then t s that is product of these two operators is a self-adjoint operator on h if and only if t s is equal to s t. Let us prove this result. We know that t s belongs to s of h if and only if Hilbert adjoint operator of T s is equal to T s that is T s whole star is equal to T s that is T s belongs to s of h if and only if s star into T star is equal to T s and since T and s are self adjoint operators so s star is equal to s and T star is equal to T so, we have shown that T s belongs to S of H if and only if S t is equal to T s. Thank you.